The next type of chemical bond we're going to talk about is going to be a covalent bond. And a covalent bond occurs between a nonmetal and a nonmetal. Both nonmetals want to gain electrons, but both can't gain electrons. So we're going to form a compromise here, and we're going to share electrons. Now, for this example, I'm going to use two chlorine atoms. Here's my one chlorine atom. Here's my other chlorine atom. And I've drawn both chlorine atoms on the board. And you can see that each chlorine atom, this one here, has seven valence electrons. They're blue in this case. And this chlorine atom has seven valence electrons, and they're red in this case. Now, the way this is going to work is that we're going to have to share electrons in order to complete the outermost orbits of each atom. So, I drew these two atoms with their outermost orbits overlapping. And you, here you can see the actual overlap. We're going to share these two electrons between both atoms. So, we've got seven blue valence electrons here, plus the one uh, valence electron of this atom. And in this atom, we've got the seven red valence electrons, and we're going to share the one blue valence electron of this atom. So both atoms, in a sense, are going to have 7 plus 1, 8. 7 plus 1, 8 valence electrons. And because they have 8 valence electrons in their outermost orbit, both atoms are going to be stable. Now the electrical attraction actually occurs between uh, because of the positively charged protons in this nucleus are going to attract the negatively charged electrons of this atom and the positively charged protons of this atom are going to attract the negatively charged electrons of this atom. And we're going to form a covalent bond. And that covalent bond is again an electrical attraction. There it is. And we'll call that a covalent bond. And the name of this compound is going to be chlorine, Cl2, because we've got two chlorine atoms uh, chemically bonded together. This type of chemical bond is going to be extremely popular in living organisms. It's a very strong bond and this type of bond is not weakened by the presence of water like ionic bonds were.